Hi guys. We are starting off with Chalk Talk Tuesday in a really interesting fashion. These questions that your daughter is asking you, whether or not you can answer them, it's not that you have to give her an answer, it's that she's not asking the right type of questions. So um, I know that was a cheesy intro, but I have a purpose to this. So if your daughter says something like, why can't I get a hit? Or why can't I pitch faster? Or why am I? That is your tip off. So if you guys are just joining us, I will get into this a little bit. I wanted to lead with that juicy bit. Um, if you guys are watching this and you don't see the little red thing that says live, give me a hashtag replay. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Um, this will be a really quick one tonight. I've got to head out. It is my mom's birthday tonight um, and we are celebrating. We are a huge birthday cake family. So birthday cake for dinner. As you guys are popping on, I think one of the biggest struggles that parents get with their daughters is how do I help my daughter? And when my daughter's frustrated and she's not performing well and she's beating herself up in the car, what type of questions is she asking? And what I want you guys to pay attention to is if she's leading her questions with why and can't, why can't I hit, why can't I pitch, why am I not? I want you guys to understand that whatever questions she's asking, her brain will seek to answer. So if she says, why am I sucking today? Her brain is going to give her every reason why she's sucking. And when she asks you that question, mom, why am I sucking today? Dad, why am I sucking today? Why can I not break through? What are you going to start to do? You're going to start to go through the laundry list of all the things that she's either doing wrong or things that she can do better, even though that's not actually what she's looking for. So I'm going to give you guys a tool to start to flip this. It's called reframing. I teach this inside the Fearless Warrior program, but really, really <clears throat> simply, sorry guys, it's been a long day. We had um, softball camp up in Omaha with the high school girls, but really simply, I want you guys to start thinking about reframing these questions into better questions. So instead of saying, why can't I, you're going to replace that with the opposite. How can I? And I'm actually out of room on my wall. Um, otherwise I would write this out for you guys, but I want you to understand this is a framework that you're going to teach your daughter. Um, she can journal these thoughts or she can replace this. So instead of saying, why can't I? She's going to say, how can I? So let's put that into an example. So instead of saying, why can't I hit today? She's going to say, how can I hit today? And then that's a productive conversation. That's a fruitful conversation in the car ride. Um, whether you're on your way to a game or whether she had a bad game and you're talking about how can she do better next time, that's a completely different conversation. Um, so I want you guys to pay attention to that change the why can't I's into the how can I's and see what magic unfolds. The second thing that I will give you guys is as they're asking these questions, if you as the parent give them unsolicited advice that they're not ready for, they're going to shut down. And so for you guys, I would always phrase it in, would you like to know what I think? That is one of the best terms that you can say as a parent and as a coach. Would you like to know what I think? And then they're either going to say, Sure, what's mom and dad gonna have to say? And then it eases them into the conversation. Or if they say, no, I don't really wanna talk about it. Okay, great, can we talk about this later? And you're either gonna go going to get a yes or a no. And if you get a no, we can't talk about this later. Then you can have that conversation of, hey, I really would like to have this conversation. I understand that you're frustrated and that you had a bad game, but eventually we're gonna to have to have this conversation. So I said I would keep it super short. This is gonna be one of the shortest Chalk Talk Tuesdays ever. I hope you guys got something out of that. If you had an aha moment or a really big takeaway and you loved this, um, make sure you share it or tell me what your biggest takeaway was below. Change the why can't I's and the how can I's. And then would you like to know what I think about it and see what magic unfolds. Whether you're in the car ride on the way to games, whether you're at home or post game review as parents and players. So, okay. I hope that helps. I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday. I will see you next Tuesday right back here for another Chalk Talk Tuesday. I'm Coach AB, a mental skills coach, giving you guys tips and tools to help your daughter unleash her inner confidence and remove her self-doubt and play fearlessly and loose and all the amazing things that you guys want for your daughters. So if you're here, you're in the right place, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday.
Bye.